Hey, what's up? People Piz out here, and today I've got an unbagging for you guys of a Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 4 Michael Myers mask. Now, I did not pick this up directly from Trick or Treat Studios. I actually purchased it from a seller on eBay. And I have to admit, I was a bit reluctant about wanting to pull the trigger on the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 4 and 5 Michael Myers masks. But I saw a lot of people posting pictures of their Halloween 4s in a Facebook group that I'm a member of. And I thought the pictures looked really good. So I jumped on eBay, I found a mask for a really good price, and here it is. Now, a couple of days later in that same Facebook group, somebody posted a Halloween 5 Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers mask for sale at a ridiculous price that I could not pass by, so I purchased it. So in a couple of days, I'll have another unboxing for you guys of the Halloween 5 Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers mask. But first... I've got the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 4 Michael Myers mask to tackle. So without further ado, let's rip the bag open and check the mask out. All right, there we go. Here is the mask. And yeah. Um, I have to say, check that out. This is a really nice looking mask. Trick or Treat Studios did a great job capturing the look of the Halloween 4 Michael Myers mask. And this mask looks pretty much exactly like the photos on their website. And as anybody who's ordered Trick or Treat Studios masks in the past know... The photo that they show on their website compared to the actual mask that gets delivered to you can vary um, <laughs> greatly, but this mask looks really good. The sculpt of this mask is fantastic. This looks pretty much exactly like the mask from Halloween 4, and the hair is really good on this mask. The hair is really good on this mask. I, yeah, I, I, I've i bought quite a number of Trick or Treat Studios masks in the past, and the hair is always <laughs> an adventure, but the hair on this mask is really good. Good hair on this mask. Um, I also noticed that <laughs> in a lot of people's photos of their Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 4 masks, there were a lot of different variations of it. Some masks did not come with the neck extension like mine has. Some masks, they were just completely white with like no weathering or no uh, paint on them to, to, to look like dirt. They were just whiter than white. And then some masks had dirt on them or paint to look like dirt to make them look dirtier. Um, and there were different levels of dirtiness. So I've never seen a Trick or Treat Studios mask vary as much from mask to mask as I have with the Part 4 mask, at least based on the photos that I've seen people post on Instagram and on Facebook and so on. But this mask, um, it, it does have a little bit of, of shading on it, a little bit of paint uh, to make it look dirty on the forehead, on the cheek, on the chin, on the nose, and around the lips a little bit. So it's It's a very balanced mask, this one. It's very balanced in that it's not dirty, dirty, but it's dirty enough, which is what I like. The mask also features the kind of dimpled texture that you can see on the mask in the film um, that gives it just a really kind of strange look. Um, I really dig that they, they were able to do that with this sculpt. Um, it's got a very nice texture and feel to it. Um, I imagine this mask was, uh, let's see, is it a Justin Mabry sculpt? Yes, it was sculpted by Justin Mabry. He did an excellent job with this mask, I have to say. There's even some mesh behind the eyes to uh, blacken out the eyes, which is a very nice touch. The sculpt, as I said, looks really good. The pull is, I would actually say this pull feels a little thicker than even the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 1 mask, 
So this seems to be a little bit thicker pull as far as the latex is concerned. This does, this is a much smaller mask than the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 1 mask and the Halloween 2 mask that they produced years ago and, and still produce today. But this is a much smaller mask. Like, yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this mask on my head. I'm not even going to try. But this is just a, a, a smaller mask overall than the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 1 mask or their Halloween 2 mask. And another thing that's really good about this particular mask is there's some black paint around the eyes to kind of create, I don't know, maybe like a shadow effect so that where the mesh meets the mask isn't as noticeable. Um, and I saw in a lot of people's Halloween for Trick or Treat Studios masks that that black around the eyes, some of, some of them were not very good. You had like black paint just kind of all over the place. Um, the black paint here, they've done a really good job of keeping it where it should be. I don't need to get like a black pen or, or some black paint and try to fill in, you know, the gaps or anything like that. Or even in some of them, it was like <laughs> some of the pictures I saw online, like they painted the black and like whoever was painting it or however it was painted, like there was a slip and like, there'd be like a black <laughs> streak, like kind of down, kind of like the, uh, the tear eye, the tear tattoos that you see on on uh, prisoners' faces. The sideburns on this guy are a little wonky, but that's really my only qualm, and it's a very minor qualm. I think this is the most screen accurate Trick or Treat Studios Michael Myers mask straight out the box of them all. No repaints, no overhauls, just straight out the box. This is a really good Michael Myers mask. Again, the sculpt is good, the pull is good, the hair is really good. This mask in particular has a great balance of it's clean, but it's not too clean. It's dirty, but it's not too dirty. It's it's just perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, I dig the mesh behind the eyes. That's a very nice touch. Um, this is a smaller mask though, so if you're a member of the Big Head Club like I am, this may not be the mask for you unless you just want to use it for display, which is what I plan on using it for. But um, yeah, I, again, really, really impressed with this Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 4 Michael Myers mask. I'll post some up close footage and maybe some photographs of this guy at the end of the video so you can get an up close and personal, uh, more detailed look at the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 4 mask at the end of the video, so stick around for that. If you picked up a Trick or Treat Studios Halloween 4 Michael Myers mask, please let me know down in the comments section below. Did yours come with a neck extension? Was yours overly dirty or overly clean? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you think Trick or Treat Studios makes a more screen accurate Michael Myers mask straight out the box, again, no repaints, no overhauls, nothing like that, please let me know down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here somewhere. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace.
join the a buck a month club and help support my channel on patreon thank you to my current patrons kevin smythe b movie mike robert sobel turi delamore stephen flanagan Lori holt craig farand farand sutton jeremiah lambert grindhouse grotto Derek janna Demon Waffles, Simon Clark, Stone Gasman, Zachary Barton, Lauren Dixon, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Pete Toll, Cal McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Andrew McDonald, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Gonzalez, R-Rated Horror, Fear Fuel, Jason Breitenbach, Brandon Bizdick, Steak Sauce, OG Myers, Mark Striano, Jeff Gardner, Travis Davis, The Obsolescionist, Chris Earls, Kevin Fitzpatrick, Randall Beatty, Joseph Hinkle, Hey Isn't That Devon Graham, and Christian Hannah Horror. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.